do I choose not to give meals to? Who to feed and who not to feed? That is the question that Mid-City Concerns Director Molly Dalpay is forced to ask. There's got to be a way that we continue to be able to at least feed them a lunch. Okay, George. Right now, Meals on Wheels delivers seven meals a week, 98,000 meals a year to Spokane seniors. For 67% of those seniors, it's their only meal of the day. For 78%, that meal delivery is their only human contact of the day. Hi, Bev, it's Kim for Meals on Wheels. But state funding for Mid-City Concerns has been cut slashed by 6%. That means 4,000 fewer meals on wheels a year. Thank you, and 3,000 fewer meals a year at their facility. Who do you decide doesn't get a meal? How do you do that? Is that I mean, how do you do that? We're, we do more fundraisers. We become an agency that feeds people by doing a lot more fundraisers. Mid-City Concern says the elderly they serve simply cannot absorb these budget cuts. But the last question we often ask state-funded groups in this era of budget cuts is always the most difficult to answer. If not you, who should be cut? I don't know where not to cut. I do know this, though. All, of my, all that my seniors have done is live a good long life. They haven't committed a crime. They haven't done anything wrong in society but outlived their savings. And for that, we can't feed them. Mid-City Concerns also says that, you know, if, if they're allowed to go in and feed people in their homes, that's an alternative as opposed to some of these elderly folks going into nursing homes that are paid for by the state, nursing homes that are far more expensive than a meal. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.